Terminator. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Elizabeth, if you still even remember the name. But I'm afraid you've been misinformed. You aren't here to receive again. Nor have you been called here by the individual, Joshua. Although you have indeed been called, you have all been called here into a labyrinth of sounds and smells, misdirection and misfortune. A labyrinth with no exit. I'm amazed with no pride. You don't even realize you are that. Your lust for blood has driven you in endless circles, chasing the cries of children in some unseen chamber, always seeming so near, yet somehow out of reach. But you will never find them. None of you will. This is where your story ends. And to you, my brave volunteer, who somehow found the hopeless thing not intended for you, although there was a way out planned for you, I have a feeling that's not what you want. I have a feeling you are right where you want to be. I am remaining as well. I am nearby. This place will not be remembered. And the memories of everything that started this can finally begin to fade away. Just like the agony of every tragedy show. And to you monsters trapped in these corridors, be still and give up your spirits. They don't belong to you. For most of you, I believe there is peace and perhaps more waiting for you after the smoke clears. Also, for one of you, the darkest pit of hell has opened to swallow you all, so don't keep the devil waiting, old friend. My daughter, if you can hear me, I knew you all the time. As well, it's time. It's in your nature to attack the innocent. I'm sorry that on that day, the day you were shot out and left to die, nobody was there to lift you up into their eyes. The way you lifted others into yours, and then what became of you, I shall know won't be funded to this future. Not my daughter. I can't save you then. So let me save you now. It's time to rest for you and for those you have carried in your hands. Decent for all of us and it's community. End of communication.